Hello and thank you for downloading Autotag. In this video we'll be going through the basics of your free trial from inserting a license key, connecting to a data source, and building a simple report. Now you should have the download file already on your computer from after you filled out the free trial form and so we'll just accept the license agreement here and click next and at this point you're going to be asked to insert the license key that you should have received via email after filling out the form. Uh, now if you've already installed but didn't insert the license key don't worry you can always do this after you install as well. So we'll just click next and we'll click install and this should only take a few moments and then once it's done it'll ask you if you'd like to open up Word or Excel or nothing. I will open up Word this time around. And then the first thing you should see when you open up Word should be the quick start guide and this has a lot of different materials that you can use to learn AutoTag with but we'll go through here for now and then we'll click on the AutoTag manager tab up at the top. Now, if you didn't insert the license key before, you can always insert it here as well. Now, the AutoTag Manager tab has a lot of different options when it comes to connecting to data sources and debugging. It also has a lot of different help and tutorial guides over on the right-hand side here. Whereas the AutoTag tab is where you're going to be hanging out when you build your templates and your reports. So let's jump into it. So the first thing we'll do is open up a new document. Let's select a blank document this time. And so now we'll jump into the AutoTag Manager tab and we'll connect to our data source. And you'll be able to see over here that I already have some data sources I've connected to already and so I have quick access to them once I've connected. But we're going to go to the data source wizard and connect to a new one. So I'll click Next. And at this point, it'll ask you to create a name for your data source that you're about to build. So just remember that this will be your name to help remember what you're connecting to. And so we're going to connect to an SQL server. Click Next. At which point, you'll want to put in your unique identity to connect to your server. And then click Next. And AutoTag will actually search for the servers for you as well, but if you know your server, you can just type it in here. And then again, for your database name, you can always go because AutoTag will look for you, but you can type it in for yourself as well. Click Next. And at this point, you'll want to test your connection, make sure AutoTag is able to connect. Now I've already connected to this, so I'm going to hit cancel, but you would just hit next and then finalize your connection. And so you, as you can see, I already have the MS SQL connection there, so I click it. And if you want, you can also connect to another data source at the same time. And then I can go to my data sources here and see which ones I am currently connected to for this template. So now that we have our data sources connected, we'll go to the auto tag tab and we'll click on the data bin to bring up all of the data that's currently in this data source that we're connected to. So I'm going to drag in customers and this is a table so it's going to ask me which columns I want in the table so I'm just going to deselect some columns here so I don't have to see the whole thing. And click OK. And so now that I have my table here if I want to sort or filter this table I just click on the tag there click the wizard at the top and now I'm presented with the wizard for this tag. And so you'll see on the right hand side here I've got a basic preview of all of the information that might show in this table when I run the report currently. So let's say I want to sort this table based on customer's company name. So I'm going to go over to the left, find that field, and drag it into the sort column here. So I'm now sorting by a company name. And now let's say I want to filter on the same field. I'll click on that field, find the company name, and then I'll choose the actual filter I want to go with. So equal to, starts with, contains, all of the basics there. So let's say we want to find customers with a company name that starts with, and we'll just put in the letter A. And so now you can see on the right hand side here the preview is very different. It shows only those with company names starting with A. So I'm going to click OK. And now going forward if you'd like to see that same preview again, you select the tag and you can click the Evaluate button up here and it will give you a preview of what that table is going to look like when you run the report. And so now at this point we've got our table created. We can then begin to use 
Office's native functionality to format what we want this table to look like. So we could, of course, go in there and change the fonts, change the colors, all that good stuff. But let's just use the native table formatting that Office gives us. And let's just go and find a really good one for this table. And we'll choose this guy. And as you can see, it will automatically integrate with AutoTag's output there to make the formatting work. And so now let's output this report and run it and see what it looks like. So let's just do a docx output and it's going to ask you if you want to save this report and we'll say sure. And then it'll run. And voila, you've got your very first auto tag report. Now of course if you'd like to continue editing, you can always close out of here and go back to the template you were just working on. AutoTag obviously has a lot of other additional functionality that you can use, a lot of which is up here in our tag section. The most basic of which would be the out tag here, which is where you can get a single field to show up in a report. And if you just double click on this, it'll open up the tag editor and you'll have a lot of options here to choose from your own fields. And you can see at the top there we also have a wizard, uh, things for equations, things like that. So you can choose region or maybe company name. And with that, we've covered the basics of getting started with AutoTag. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any additional questions, always feel free to reach out to us. We also have our documentation wiki available as well as Windward Tutor to help you get started. We hope you have a good evaluation of AutoTag and a wonderful day. Thank you.